Hello, everyone. Hi. My name is Carly. Today, I'm going to be leading a workshop on Japanese drumming. So in Japanese, the word for drum is taiko. Taiko. And in Canada, when we say taiko, we mean the art of Japanese drumming, which is what I do. If you've seen taiko, you'll see a lot of people wearing costumes like I am and playing a lot of different kinds of drums. It's really loud and really exciting. You may have seen us at festivals around the city, like at Heritage Festival or the Fringe or K-Days. My group is called Kita no Taiko. And we're very excited to share Japanese drums with you today. Over the past year, we haven't been able to meet. So we've had to learn how to move Taiko into our houses and play a little differently. So that's what we're going to do today. Learn about Taiko and how you can play at home. And then hopefully in the future, we'll see you when we're doing a regular show. So we'll begin by looking at the drums. Here we have a taiko. Isn't it beautiful? This one's from Japan. It has a beautiful wood body and the playing surface is here on the top and the bottom, depending on what you want. Whoops. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is a medium sized drum but it's still pretty big and heavy. That's why I have it on wheels right now. If this is a medium sized drum, what about the other sizes? Well, I have a small one here. Here's an example of a small drum. It's much lighter and easier to move around. And it has a different sound. Because it's smaller, it has a high pitched sound. And when we play in a group, we all listen for the high pitch sound so that we can play together. So this is our timekeeper. I'll show you an example. This is the high pitch sound. And back here, I have another drum that has a low pitch sound. Much different, right? This sound of the medium sized drum is the classic taiko sound, deep and booming and loud. That's why we like it so much. Now, there's also a classic taiko that's really, really big. Unfortunately, I don't have one of those in my house. It wouldn't fit down the stairs. So until you can see this in real life, you'll just have to imagine that. Or if you search, Taiko, you'll probably find one. It's extremely big compared to these ones. So you'll know it when you see it. I'll put this one away for now. There we go. And I'm going to show you something else. When we practice at home, we use a different kind of drum altogether because it's much softer and lighter and easier to move around. This is called a gomi daiko. Gomi daiko. In Japanese, gomi means trash. But we don't mean this is a garbage drum. We mean it's a garbage bin drum. It's made out of a plastic bin. And we cut off the bottom and put lots of tape. And this becomes the new playing surface. And it's a perfect height all ready to go. So this Gomi Daiko is something you can make yourself for home. If you follow the Kids Up Front workshop series with Kita no Taiko, there's another video where we show you how to make one of these yourself. It's a good option to have at home when you don't want to disturb the other people in your house or your neighbors, but you still want to practice Taiko. So we'll set Gomi Daiko aside for now as well. And the last thing, are my drumsticks. We call these bachi. Bachi. They're made of wood 
They're bigger compared to Western drumsticks, but this is what we use for Tyco. If you have some drumsticks today, that's great. It doesn't matter what size they are, you can use them today. And if you don't, that's fine too. You can still follow along with all the exercises we're going to do today just by following in the air what I do or by clapping your hands to keep rhythm like I do. That's the nice thing about Taiko. You can still find a way to learn even if you don't have all the things like I happen to have in my basement. Good. Now we're going to get ready to play the drum. Before we do that, we have to do a little bit of a warm up because when we play Taiko, it's a full body activity. So we'll set those bocce aside for now and we'll do a warm up. So you can get ready and warm up with me. Make sure your knees are nice and loose. And we're going to start with wrist circles. Loosen those wrists. Other direction. Okay, let's do forward and backwards wrists. And let's do side to side wrists. Hello. Okay. And let's make sure our hips and our knees are nice and flexible too. We'll do some hip rotations. When we play Taiko, our legs and our hips and our feet are the base of our movement. It's very important. Okay, let's warm up our leg muscles by doing some squats. Hi, squat, and down, and down. Some of us haven't exercised in a little while. That's fine. <laughs> okay. And finally, let's loosen our ankles by rolling. You can hang onto a wall like I am, or maybe you have excellent balance and you can do without. Other foot. Okay, a little bit looser, ready to go. So. You may or may not have a drum at home. You probably don't have a taiko like this at home. That is perfectly fine. See what you have in the room. Maybe you can play on the side of your couch, on the pillow or a cushion. Maybe you can take a laundry basket and flip it over and play the other side. Maybe you can just play the floor. It's all fine. And it's normal for people who practice taiko at home. We just find something that works for us. My adaption today, is I have to put just a mat on this taiko. It's a little bit too loud for the speakers in this house, so that's what I'm going to do. But I'll actually make it easier for you to hear me. So I'm all set here with my drum. Take a moment to set up your area. Make sure you have some space to move. We're gonna look at how to stand at the drum next. When we stand at the taiko, we want an active stance. Knees are bent and ready to move. Our weight is in the center and our arms are supported by our lower body. All right, give that a try at your taiko. Extend your drumsticks out so that you have lots of room to move. And we're gonna get ready to play. I'm gonna play some big notes like this. Those are some big notes. Why don't you join me? Ready, and. How is that? You can see how far up I reach when I'm playing these notes. If you have the space, you can try that too. Let's go again. We're starting with our right hand, by the way. Ready. And good. 
Good job. Let's try a little bit faster notes like this. Twice as fast, so get those arms ready to move. Let's start all together with our right hand. Ready? And... Good job. Let's do one more together. Ready? And... Very good. I usually start with my right hand. There's no reason you have to, but most people who write with the right hand will prefer it. But if you write with your left hand, that's perfectly fine to start on the left as well. Let's mix the two types of notes together. I'm going to play four beats of the big note and four beats of the faster note. Why don't you watch this one first? Ready to watch? try together. Don't worry, I'll signal you when it's time to change. Listen for the sound of my voice. I'm going to give a shout when it's time to change. We'll start with the big ones. Ready and How did that go? Good job. All right, those are some pretty big hits, so they make loud notes. How about if we do small hits and they make soft notes? It's not easy to play soft notes on a big drum like this. I think it's actually more difficult, so it's a good skill to learn. Let's do the fast notes, but very soft, very soft. Ready? We can try this together. Ready and. Even quieter. How was that? Was that easier or harder than the loud notes? I find it harder. Good. Let's try four big loud notes and four beats of soft quick notes. I'll demonstrate first so you can watch. Ready to watch? Let's try all together, starting with the loud notes. Ready in your taiko stance. Ready and. Good job. Using volume taiko in, in taiko is very important because otherwise one big loud sound will get boring in a song. You need to have levels of volume and levels of sound so that the song is interesting. So that's a good taiko skill to learn. Let's talk 
talk about this thing I'm doing with my voice to signal you I'm shouting. That's not a mistake, it's on purpose. And it's called ki-i. Ki-i. I use ki-i when I want to signal you for something. I can also use it when I want to celebrate playing taiko with you and I just have so much joy that it wants to escape. It's just a shout. And I encourage you to try it if you can in your house. We're going to practice that now. So in I ki I, I try to use the air from my belly. And I don't use my regular talking voice. I use a shouting or a singing voice from my belly. So it sounds like this. Ha! Ha! Give it a try. It can be a little hard to just shout inside or anywhere, really. We usually don't get a chance to do so, but now's your chance. So commit to that ki. Ha! Let's try. I'm going to send a ki to you through the computer. Send it back to me. Ready and ha! 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 Oh, I think I heard that last one. Good job. So that's ki. We want to use that when we play taiko. So let's give it a try. I'm going to play a long note and then leave a space, and that's where the key eye goes. I'll show you first. Ready? Ha! 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 Let's give it a try. Get into your taiko stance. Ready with the right hand. Ready? And ha, 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 ha. Good job. How's that key eye? It feels good. It feels good inside to let your voice out. Now, the other thing we can do in these moments where we have a rest in the music and we're not playing and we fill it with ki, we can do a pose. There's lots of posing in taiko. It's really beautiful to watch. That's why a lot of people like it. All right, here's an example. wrong way to do a pose, think about what poses you can do. You can use your arms, you can use your legs, okay? This is your time to try it out. We'll do the same pattern, hit, pose, hit, pose. You can follow my poses if you want, but you can also try your own. Let's get ready. Ready, and... Is that fun? Nice job. Well, we have a lot of taiko tools in our toolbox now. You've learned some notes and you've learned some volume. Let's try to put them all together into a game. This game is called Carly Says because I'm Carly and I like when you do what I say. I'm going to play a four beat rhythm and you're gonna play it afterwards, okay? I'm gonna bring an assistant drum here. Here's our Gomi Daiko back again. Okay, when I play the my part, which you listen to, it'll be on this drum. I'm gonna play your part on this drum, just so you have something to follow. But later I'm gonna take it away. So get used to listen and play 
listen, and play. So which drum is yours? This one. Very good. Okay, here's an example first. So you can just watch this demonstration, okay? So you'll listen to what I play and then you'll copy and play it yourself. Let's give it a try. Ready to listen? Ready and. How's that going? Were you able to follow along? Good job. Okay, I'm going to take away your drum. You can still play at home, of course. But you have to listen to my rhythm and then play it yourself. And I'm just going to wait in between. I'll still count for you. It'll look like this. One, two, three, four. So this is the new pattern. I will play. You'll play. One, two, three, four. That's your time to play the rhythm. Okay, ready again? Let's get that taiko stance ready. Okay, listen and play. Listen and play. Ready? And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ha! One, two, three. How was that? Good job, everyone. Good listening. All right. Now we have all those things we've learned about taiko, but you haven't really had a chance to play the taiko really hard. And when we do that in a show, that's usually the best part. So I want to give us the time right now to just play the drum really hard. Now, you do have to be respectful of the space that you're in. So do your best. Make sure it's safe in the area to move your drumsticks and make sure you're not too loud 
just in case, okay? We're just gonna play as fast and as loud as we can. Maybe you'll key eye, you'll let that energy out and encourage everyone else, okay? Just go for it, this is your time for some wild drumming. Everyone ready? Hey! right? That's what a lot of people like about taiko. You need a lot of energy to play these big drums. <laughs> Very good. I hope you had fun. I want to do one more thing all together and then we're going to move on to some questions in case you have any. So the last thing I want us to do is to play a song together. As I said, normally in my group, Kita no Taiko, when we get together, there's lots of people with lots of drums and we play different parts and we can jam together and enjoy that time. I want to do the same with you because I've enjoyed this time and I hope you have too. I'm going to play a song on my drum, but that's not the song for you to follow. That's the background for your big song. So I'll put down some rhythm in the background. I want you to play your own song over top. It doesn't have to be complicated. Think of the things that you already learned. Big notes, fast notes, soft notes, loud notes, and of course, poses and ki-ai. Think of all those tools. This is your time to try it out. All right, so I'm gonna play some background music. I want you to play whatever you like with the taiko that you've learned. And if you just want to move around instead and dance to the music, that's fine too. Let's just enjoy this music together. Okay, ready? Get in your taiko stance. Think about those poses. Here's your background music for your big solo. Ready? jamming with me? Are you trying your poses? Go ahead and try. We'll go again. Try all your taiko. Ready?
I had so much fun playing taiko with you today. Excellent work. You learned a lot in a short amount of time. I had a lot of fun. Thanks to Kids Up Front for putting this together for us. I'm Carly from Kito Taiko. And thank you so much for your time. Arigato gozaimashita. Now, if you have some questions, you can put them in the chat and I can answer them. Here we go. Okay, some questions are coming in. Go ahead and put them. I see one question. Are we going to learn a song? So we didn't learn a song today uh, because we just had a short amount of time, but you learned enough today that you can write your own song actually with the long notes and the short notes and the rests and the poses. That's enough, you can give it a try. If you do want to learn more about Taiko, you can look up my group, Kita no Taiko, on YouTube or Facebook. And on YouTube, there's lots of videos, and you can look at those songs. Another question, will we see you again? Well, I hope so, one day. If you ever see Taiko in the future, at a festival maybe, look for these big drums, and look for these bright costumes, and probably I'll be there and I'd be happy to see you again. There's another Japanese drumming workshop tomorrow with my friend Marie, so you can check back. That's at, I wanna say 4.30, but you can check Kids Up Front website to check that time. It's another fun drumming workshop, but it's different than mine, so there's even more content for you. Next question, how can you get into Japanese drumming? Well, Right now, the group Kita no Taiko is for grown-ups like me. So you can get your parents in or your big brother or sister maybe. But in the future, there might be kids pro programming through our group. You can always follow our website or our social media. Uh, if you search Edmonton Japanese Drums, my group will come up. Or you can search Kita no Taiko and our website is kitanotaiko.ca. So you can keep an eye out for kids programming in the future. We are happy to do these online workshops, for example, with Kids Up Front. Uh, there might be other opportunities as well for online content. And who knows, one day we may show up at your school as well. And we'd be happy to see you there. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you so much, everyone. We had a wonderful time today, didn't we? I had a lot of fun. It's great to learn about the Taiko. So thank you for your time. And until next time, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.